literally had to be that. Like, golly, man. Uh, I think this one you are supposed to go first. So we play this. One, two, three. And here, we don't want the reacts very much. So other stuff. I think Starstruck is like super mid in this matchup. Want all the blues. Sigils and all this kind of stuff. Um, actually, Command and Conquer is not great. But two card Command and Conquer plays win games, so we're going to keep that. All right. Um, well, I'm, I guess I'm glad I'm going first. This card is not great. Not great in this opening hand. I, I did kind of like give them my load here. Just show them uh, kind of what I'm dealing with. This hand is, again, not great. I don't think we can actively do anything with this. Like, I, I think we just have to throw this and throw a pummel stable to it. Just hope. Okay. Give us a frosty. So they didn't block. Hmm. All right, free damage. Maybe a D-react from their side. Nope, they're just at 28. I really like Tunic in this matchup for the Coronet Peak as well. So, need that counter up for Coronet. See, you already know. You already know. I think Pablo not being on Tunic hurt him. Uh, it is possible. It is possible. Um, he actually needed that armor, though. <laughs> At least against that Bullander, I think. All right, this hand's freaking awesome. I cannot complain about this one. Pummel that. Pummeling. Now I get the arsenal that too. Sure. Pay three. Easy peasy. Oh wait, I gotta chill it. Uh yeah. Yeah, I'll pay two. I'm gonna pay three for that so we don't have to discard yet again. Alright, tunic looking good right here. That's for sure. Okay, so they don't care, huh? Keep the pummel. Mm -hmm. Man, I like that hand. That's good. This one's this one's tough. I think I'm taking it. <laughs> This is greedy. Uh, this this is probably wrong, but all right. So giving me a channel. Hold on, hold on. That's that's kind of annoying. Not kind of. It's extremely annoying, actually. channel in their arsenal. Everybody saw that, right? This hand does not rouse the ancients, unfortunately. It does play Crippling Crush with a Dominate. We'll do it. Alright, now they're just playing the channel. It's not bad. I think we still... Just play the crippling. This is for so far ahead anyway. No pummel play here, but it's gonna get most of their hand, right? Yep. The whole thing, actually. Interesting. 
interesting. All right, there's, these are the turns we live for right here. That's just game. Um, do we want to rematch? I guess. We can do a quick rematch for him. All right, we got one against Icelander. Icelander's a good thing to test against anyway. So. What's up? Yeah. That was a very quick game. There's... Hands tough. I almost don't want to do anything here. I think I'm just going to pass priority. One of Arsenal does keep the blue. Let's do that. This will be a lot, a lot different game, I'm sure. Gonna give him free setup stuff. That's fine. We are gonna swing some hammer though. It is early enough in the game that it does matter. We're gonna get three free damage here. It means their turn isn't probably going to be anything great. Okay, CNC, we gotta load that. I'm gonna give you two blocks here. We got the CNC pummel too, depending on what they arsenal, right? So. Very good, very good. God, I miss this. I miss this. This is so fun. Oldham. Come back. I think I'm just going to throw the crippling here. Instead of being like a little life preserve. That's just fine. The other nice thing too about running the tunic is you don't give them opportunities to respond, right? So being able to counterplay the coronet is just man, it's so good. No. And keep a two card. This is probably gonna be a setup turn for them. Um, I'm going to keep the blues, actually, since there's nothing else really going on. Coronet Peak. I'm going to pay one because it's close to the CNC. I don't want that pummel just yet. And then here, I'm going to swing. Okay, so there's their Frost Hex. This isn't going to do much, but I get the Arsenal to Zealous, right? So... So at least I know on about turn 19 or so, I will have a, a good pummel play. Oh, this hand is fantastic. Oh my God. Don't do anything to me. Don't coordinate peek me. Ah, you son of a gun. Okay, fine. So I'm gonna arsenal this instead. Uh, we're gonna pay one. We're gonna get rid of guess this. Actually, I probably should have just discarded that, but whatever. Aether Hail. So here, I can use Tunic. Well, yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm going to pay anyway. So we'll give you one, right? Yeah, we'll give you one. Just taking it all, huh? Tap your face. Uh, 
And it's great. Love to see it. Alright, so we gotta pay two and two. I'm gonna pay two again. I think that's probably right. We're gonna pay two, and then we're gonna pay two. Next turn, we're just gonna Anathos off of this. One, two. Coming in for six. Frosting. Add the extra floating. Let's get. The Tunic also, if the game goes long enough, gets more value out of it being a free block anyway, even if it is Bull Lander. I think this might just be the call for me. Then take one. Okay, hands great. We just need to uh, not get rolled by something like that. So we need to double pay. They're getting a lot of disruption off of this, which is very... Very annoying. Then... I think I'm gonna get two again. Kind of make the same play pattern here. Pay two to discard. And then I'm gonna activate Bravo here. Let them have an opportunity to respond. That is extremely annoying. They have the channel here. It means I can't even activate here. So I'll just pay for the frostbite. They do get a lot of tempo here. Double Sigil. What a turn to have double Sigil, right? Strike likely for seven. Maybe go again if they want a Coronet's Peak. Try to get some cards out of me. His buff power, so that channel is going bye bye. I'm gonna give him one card. I do still want to attack with Anathos here. And then, based on how they react, because I'm keeping a, a full hand, they're probably more inclined to block this because it'd just be like Pummel or something along those lines. I'm going to allow this to happen. I'm not going to pay for this. I want them to think that I have something here. Just go ahead and go back up to 30. All right, maybe we can play this Rouse next turn. Scar, it's not bad. We could theoretically play the Rouse. I think it's a little bit safer to go Zealous Belting. Um, give this card here. Could could do both. Maybe maybe we do Rouse and then we can Arsenal the Zealous Belting, depending on how they play. It's another big attack. I'm like just fine with it. We give them information about them being able to disrupt us if we make this play. There we go. One, two. There's more damage now. Instead of later. That's not bad. Um, I'm not going to pay for any of that. I'm pretty okay with just swinging this. Going six afterwards. They are getting kind of low. I have to start respecting just a little bit, right? So they go to seven. Okay, they don't go to seven. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Saves me a life by doing it that way, too. So they're giving me a 
hex here. Interesting. Freebie. Free macho. Eternal and their equipment going ahead and making it happen, huh? Yeah, it's not super critical that they give me equipment here, uh, the coordinate at least. I will pay too. Uh, whatever. Alright, taking three, and then we're gonna end up taking one down to 21, but they're at three, so they are. Struggling. Oasis isn't bad. I'm gonna arsenal this bad boy. Let's go again, huh? Okay, well, since it's go again, we're gonna efficiently block. Okay. I'm gonna activate this, see if they get a response. If it's another channel, that's extremely unfortunate. Oh, this is, this is nuts. Depending on what they play, if they go like red ice vein, oh, they're, they're gone. See ya. Oh, wait, hold on. No, it does get us because of the chill. Dang. Okay, pay to, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I don't think we have the ability to do that. Okay, so we pay two. Oasis is not that good here, unfortunately. Yeah. Dang. If I did the math just a little bit better, I would have been able to uh, play the Oasis and then stop most of it. Where'd it go? No! I like this. Okay, Fighting Spirit is fine. I'm just throwing more damage here. Does give me an extra one. Are they willing to take two here? Maybe. Oasis. This one's a lot closer than the other one. Okay, playing the Insidious or not. So I'll be able to pay for that. It's fine. Get two cards. Interesting. Not great. Like an oasis, whatever they decide to do, I suppose. Tunic. They don't have Storm Strider, so we don't have to worry about that as much. Um, this. I have one floating here. I can do this. This is important. We're going to take the two. on how they block. It's nothing to dictate. Okay. Yeah, you're still dead. OK, 
Okay. I do go to one. Very smart block. And the waning moon gets us for three. Yep, good dome. Very solid. All right, this hand's exactly what we needed. I think this will push us over the game. Because we'll be able to oasis literally anything that they decide to do. Golly, I'm about to bust. Gotta go to the bathroom. Please hurry, opponent. They might just try to kill us here. Which if they do, then... Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, that's the game. Oops. 